I would recommend for IPs to know about the marketing industry in Canada is firstly the fact that Canada is changing as a country. We're uh, one of the most multicultural countries in the world with 20% of the population today being foreign born. Every year 250,000 new immigrants are coming to this country uh, and to put that into context that's 4 million new people every four years. So the reality is that the face of Canada is changing today and employers today need to start looking at their workforce to be reflective of the consumers and the populations that they're serving. IEPs bring a wealth of knowledge and expertise and education uh, to this country from uh, from back home that is relatively new to Canada. What they need to understand is how to unleash and unlock this, this hidden potential that they do have uh, and basically uh, gift it to uh, Canada and the Canadian workforce. It, it's really sad to see that you know, one of the biggest hurdles that IEPs uh, and, and to that fact all new immigrants do face in this country is the notion of no Canadian work experience and the fact that that's a, a, a big hindrance uh, to their, their job search and their employability. Uh, the recommendation that I would have to these IEPs though is to change the conversation. Yes, they do not have Canadian work experience, but they have international experience. And we are a multicultural country and we need to understand the cultural nuances that do exist in this marketplace. And that's something that only IEPs can bring to the table. So if IEPs were to change the conversation with the employers and reinvent themselves and reposition their special skills as in fact their, their superpowers, uh, if you will, uh, I think it will really differentiate them from other candidates in uh, the, the job market uh, and really they will have a lot to bring to the table uh, for Canadian employers. So as an employer, I think some of the, the basic skills that we all look for is really just good people. Um, I think we, uh, we want to work with people that we get along with, that we trust, uh, that we know are, are, are competent for the position. No matter what the position is, there's always a, a learning curve associated with your, whether you are an IEP or not. So I think if, uh, if IEPs can, can come to employers uh, and be Canadian job ready essentially and know really the social skills that are required, some of the norms, the do's and don'ts, um, in terms of uh, sp specific requirements for the job, they're going to be picking those up uh, as it is. Uh, but I think it's, it's understanding um, some of the social norms uh, within Canada, uh, but also being proud of, of the differences that they do bring to the table as well. Um, my hope would be that more employers are actually looking for candidates that aren't like them, that are very unique and different to what they are, because the worst thing that a company can do is hire a workforce of all the same people. It's diversity is the strength for these employers, for these organizations, that's actually going to fuel uh, future growth for their organizations. Again, for IEPs, the, the biggest advice that I would give them is to reinvent themselves and change the conversation. We know that it is, an, it is an absolute obstacle in the job market today to not have Canadian work experience. I mean, we have to be honest about that. But where IEPs can change the conversation is again speak to the special skills that they are bringing to the table, the connections that they have in other parts of the world, the education that they've received in other parts of the world, uh, the understanding of cultural nuances and, and really uh, the drivers of, of consumer habits and work habits and whatnot. That's something that employers in a multicultural country like Canada can't live without. Uh, the fact is in, in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, Everyone that is employed in Canada is going to need to understand these cultural nuances because that's where the market is going today. IEPs, if anything, have a head start. And I think IEPs need to understand these special skills that they do have and reposition themselves and reinvent themselves uh, in order to thrive in the, uh, in the Canadian job market. I think for IEPs and, and really anyone in, in, in the job market, you've got to be yourself. You always have to be in yourself. You can't. Uh, fake who you are. So obviously a lot of IEPs do come to this country and they've got unique names that they may want to shorten and change. They may wear uh, unique religious symbols, headgear like myself, and, and they may look different from the masses. Being different is a, isn't a bad thing, it's a, it's a good thing. Being a marketer myself, I know companies spend millions upon billions of dollars to differentiate their brand. So why would you as an IEP want to look 
and speak like everybody else in the marketplace. If you can reposition yourself and differentiate yourself from the masses, but add value uh, and present value to a potential employer and let them know how your special skills, your unique skills uh, can solve problems and actually help drive growth for their organization, everybody wins.